you create your reality, yes? Well, actually, you co-create your reality. The things that happen in your world happen for a reason, and it's your choice whether you want to see it as your fault or your responsibility and ability to step in a new direction. Hi, I'm Reverend Ali Beerman. I'm very glad you came by today to join us for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. In the metaphysical world, there isn't a question of religion. It's strictly spirituality that you'll find here. And my goal is to assist you in understanding and being able to experience the 99% plus of the world that exists that you can't see is in only your five senses. Now we begin every week with a happy share. And happy share is something that lets you feel good all over again just by recalling it and letting other people know about it. Something that left you feeling happy, peaceful, glad. And my happy share this week is I've been having a real problem because of brain damage and what it's caused in my body. And I figured out how to combat the really severe discomfort I've been having. It's not the easiest thing to do, but it's something I can do to help myself. And that's pretty cool in my book. Now, getting back to this whole thing about if you're creating your reality, well, how does that work? And is it your fault when bad things happen to you? The fact is, nothing, no event, is inherently good or bad. It's how you look at it. It's how you interpret it. And if you can do, well, this is what I did, and I recommend it, because you know what? It works. My first thought was, when I had the first brain injury, that I created it because I needed to change my work situation. And that's completely valid. But it wasn't my fault. The universe assisted me. I knew I wanted to leave the facility. I knew it was dangerous. But I didn't take the actions to do so. So the universe stepped in and booted me out, not just from that facility, but from the whole way of helping people by talk therapy. Because working as a psychotherapist, I felt like I was helping people. But what I learned and discovered and can do now with and for people is way more powerful. It's instant. And it's permanent. And nobody has to go back and dive into those awful feelings or memories that you can't access anyway because they're deep, deep in your subconscious mind. The word fault implies there's somebody to blame. So if you think you're at fault for creating the bad things that happen in your world, then you're going to blame yourself or somebody else or the universe or God for putting you in that position. What if instead you took responsibility and made a choice to take your new circumstances and step in a new and different direction. See, for me, I didn't feel like I had a really big choice with the first injury because what it did to my sight and my ability to function, and then I recognized, whoa, this is a really big gift because in the process of healing myself, I'm learning all these amazing things. And even though the doctor said I wouldn't get better, well, I did. So then, when the brain tumor happened, I wasn't going to blame myself because I understood what was going on. I can't say I'm thrilled that I have to work so hard to speak and to swallow and to walk and just exist. <laughs> but I can do it. Yeah, I have to do it in new ways, in different ways. And every day, I take another step forward in my healing. You know why? Because it's my choice. And because I know the universe attracted people to me, events to me, and the circumstances that allowed me to continue to grow and to make a difference 
and even more lives as I'm on my adventure to heal me. So when something happens in your world, you have a choice. You can sit back and you can be a victim and not heal. Or you can say, okay, this is how it is. I have to work a lot harder than I used to just to have a normal life, but I can do it. And the universe would never have put me in this position unless I was capable of thriving. So it's about more than just surviving. It's about thriving. Now, if you're on our ministry site and you look up there, you'll see a page called Hold a Space For. If there's something you want in your something, <laughs> if there's something that you'd like to have in your world that's not there now, go ahead and let us know what it is. And you can do that by telling us down there. And I'll put it up on that page and you come back at least once a week. And you tell your friends and your family to come back too. And you read through each name on the list and what it is they want. And then you're helping them to build the thought form of the reality they want to create from one they put out to one that more and more and more people are putting out and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You don't have to know who the people are. I guarantee the universe does. If you haven't done so already, go on over there. If you leave me your name and your email, I'll send you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. And I really appreciate your clicking like and share. Because you know what? The only way for people to know we're here is if you, when you discover us, you let other people know so we can build a whole community. Because when I see there are enough people who want to participate live, I'll go back to doing this event live, which is how it originally started out. But the technology is way better now than it was then. So again, I thank you for coming by, and I wish you a week filled with very many blessings.